Hello there, it's Gino, your favorite Nugget King, and we're here for a Nugget King and Morris and educational instructional video. Uh, before we get started though, I just want to show you one of my favorite places in the world. Uh, some of you probably ask, where does a Nugget King go to relax? Well, one of my favorite places to go, well of course it would be called the Princeton Castle Resort. Now we're just in a small secluded area of it here, but as you can see when I look around, there's a lot of hillsides. We got a gold bearing streak, some chalets up in the background there. Place for the Nugget King to hang out. And uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is uh, I made a promise to my friend Ellie who owns the resort that uh, we'd let you all know that if you ever come to visit the Nugget King that the uh, Princeton Castle Resort is uh, one of the premier locations to stay at in wilderness surroundings. Uh, maybe later in the video, if we've got enough battery power, we'll uh, go take a look at the castle and uh, show you around. Uh, I just noticed my battery's a little low, so you never know. We'll see. You know how Nugget King videos go. We kind of fly by the seat of our pants. So, anyways, uh, without further ado, uh, today's educational video will be on water movement and gold drop zones. Uh, essentially, uh, me and Morris, we have a technique where we uh, find a place on the stream where we drop several balloons into the water and uh, we uh, basically watch where they go and uh, it uh, gives us an idea of how the current runs, where it slows down and uh, where your gold drop points are. So uh, in the spirit of uh, both our national holidays, uh, red and white being Canada's colors and of course the Nugget Kings and uh, we have some blue uh, in our balloons there to uh, cover our American brothers and sisters for their Independence Day on the 4th coming up. So. Uh, Let's celebrate and uh, learn how to find some gold. Yeah! Hi there, folks. It's Gino, the Nugget King again. Uh, here we are at our location on the stream where uh, we're going to uh, have Morris go up to the bridge you see in the distance there. He's going to get in around the corner and uh, release uh, a red, a white, and a blue balloon out for us, and uh, we're going to watch each of them because he's going to release them on uh, different parts of the stream so that we can see how they flow through the water. As they flow through the water, I'll stand off camera here and I'll explain what's going on. So anyways, uh, we're going to cut out here for a moment while Morris gets set up, and uh, we're going to teach you a little bit about water flow, and hopefully you'll uh, learn a thing or two about prospecting. Nugget King out. Hi everybody, Morris is ready. He's about to start dropping balloons. As soon as I yell okay, he'll take about 10 seconds and he'll drop the first balloon. My job is balloon catcher. I got to make sure that none of these little suckers get loose into mother nature. You know, we got to make sure we don't litter. So I'm heading off camera, but you'll hear my uh, beautiful voice in the background. Okay, Morris! First balloon is down and it has hit the water. We have our first red balloon and as you can see uh, through the bush there, it's starting to come through the bushes. It's kind of working its way and now you can see how the balloon stops over there. It's working its way through. Uh, we're hoping that the uh, branches aren't going to catch it up completely. No, in our luck it probably will. That's why we have three balloons though. I'm pretty sure that one will get through though. The last one did. But if not, Morris will help it along in a moment. Okay, Morris, release the set. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I, there we go. Our white balloon has been released, and I think our red balloon has just made it out. Now, you see how it's held up right in front of the branches there? we got a pile of branches holding the water back there. There's a potential gold drop zone. Red balloon, you see how it's hung up there in between the little rock jam over there? You've got another drop zone over there. The balloon has moved on. And the white balloon is caught up in the, in the bushes there, cutting its way down the stream. As you can see on the inside bend, the red balloon has got caught up in front of this large rock jam here. We've got a slow eddy of current there. Excellent drop zone for fine gold. The blue, ball, blue, 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 blue balloon has been released and our white balloon has made its way around the current. Our red balloon is MIA behind the, uh, the large bricks, uh, rocks there in the foreground. Uh, we'll get them released in a moment. Morris is going to be our balloon releaser. Okay, we got the white balloon hung up over there. <laughs> Maurice, if you can get the balloons going, okay? 
Well, this is Mother Nature for you, folks. You know, it's uh, just going to happen that way. Uh, got some guests uh, entering the, uh, the Princeton Castle Resort here while uh, we uh, get things moving along. Uh, oh, maybe our blue balloon has come loose. I don't know. <laughs> Little delay, delay here, but you know what? We'll probably keep this in the video. Okay, I think we got Morris there. He's got the balloon moving there, I think. Here comes our white balloon. As you can see, she's kind of hung up in front of a rock pile there. I'm not too sure about your angle, but from where I'm at, she's uh, staying in a little black back eddy of current there. Oh, and then she's got moving, and she's on the inside curve on the other side of the river there, getting hung up in some slow water. Probably a little bit of a drop zone there, and then she's getting down, and you see how you get those rock piles there, how the balloons kind of pile up over there, they don't move right away. Those are your, going to be your spots where you, if you're in the creek and uh, you want to go and get some, uh, you want to go get some uh, gold, you don't want to stop where those balloons are stopping. You see, it's uh, Mother Nature doesn't lie. This is physics at work here in a pure form, folks. Uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, their balloons aren't cooperating, or it looks like he's going to have to go and get them out of that pool as well, but we do want to try and get a full view of what's going on on the creek here. working his way down to the beach. And, uh, it looks like a stick in his hand and uh, our, blue, our red balloon seems to be caught up. So you know what there, where that balloon is caught, that would be a place you definitely want to be. We'll go and release that red balloon in a little bit here. I'm just going to deal with our white and our blue at the moment. Okay, here comes our blue balloon. Yeah, it's having issues. Uh, oh, here they come. All righty. Now let's see what these things are going to do. You see how they're kind of hanging in that slow water right along the edge of the current? Watch where they go where they're going to hang up. You know, they're going to, you see where she's kind of spinning over there? A little back eddy going on in that area. And oh, there we go. We're going to pass through. And they're just going to kind of stick around that side. I'm going to run over there and uh, do my job as balloon again. Put 
Hello everybody. Uh, so let's recap what we just saw there. What you saw were the uh, balloons coming down the stream. We had a couple technical glitches, you know, have to jerry rig things as usual, but uh, we made her work. I'm just not too sure how well you could hear me. So to recap, we had a stop down by the tree over there. You notice where they got all hung up. I don't know how well the camera view is, but there's a little boulder patch over there with a whole bunch of little back eddies swirling around. And that's what made the balloons hang up over there. Further ahead, you saw them kind of do a little pirouette, a spin under the tree. Got like a little rotor pool going on over there. In a larger version of this stream, you might find some good gold in that rotor pool. Once we freed up the balloons, we dropped them in again over here after the trees. And you both, everybody saw how the balloon kept going down the same main body of water and getting hung up at that rock jam right over there. Now, I'm going to double check that you guys can see that with the camera because that's going to be our main dig point where we're going to experiment today, right there. Our balloons consistently got hung up in that spot for up to 10 seconds at a time. So, we're going to shut the camera off, pull the shovels in the pans, and find out just how smart the Nugget King is. Talk to you later. Hi there, it's Gino, the Nugget King, and Morris. Anyway, he's my mentor, a man who's taught me all this stuff that I'm trying to pass on to all you folks. As you saw earlier in the balloon video, we uh, floated some balloons downstream, identified some gold catchment spots, and now we're going to take a sample, just one pan, just to see if we got any color. Two if we have no color, we always do a backup pan. But uh, yeah, we're just going to sample that spot that we saw the balloons hanging up in and see what comes out, because I know this is a gold creek, there should be gold in it. Let's see if we get anything where the uh, balloons told us to dig. I'm going to pass the camera off over to Morris. Uh, this is his first time filming with an iPhone, so please bear with me while I give him a quick uh, instruction. <laughs> camera's on this side, so you got to face it like uh, this. So I'm going to flip the camera. Yeah. Uh, just a moment here. They don't allow you to. I'm sorry. We're going to... Uh, <laughs> we're just going to let Morris film it like this. I'm going to angle it right there, Morris. Just try to hold it like that there, if you're able to. And I can see the screen. I'll tell, I'll tell you if I'm on screen when I get into the Okay. Yep, I'm on screen. Okay, people, I got my classifier, I got my bucket, I got my shovel. Let's do the Nugget King thing. <laughs> now, like I said, my goal isn't to get a lot of gravel here, we're just sampling. So, uh, I got to kind of hold this one hand. I think four scoops should do a good test in here. Oh, wait, look at that nice little gravel pile up right behind the good rock. Let's see if I can get a sample of that. Oh, right on, good gravel. So, I'm just going to head back over here, throw my shovel back, get a little bit of water here to get that stuff into my bucket. All right. That's a magnetite here. <laughs> now we've got some quartz with a little bit of pyrite. Another rock with some quartz hewn all over it. You always look at your white rocks, man. But we got nothing junky in here, so we'll let that all go over. <laughs> uh, Morris, if I could just have you lift the camera just a hair. All right, right on. So what we're gonna do now is just put that classifier back on and. Drain out that water. And I got my Garrett Super Sluice pan up here. And I dump those cons in. I call them cons because I've run them through a classifying screen. That being said, that means that you concentrated the gravels. It's a higher concentration of uh, small gravel and gold uh, to, uh, by weight. 
So, you know, you can't really do an assay test or anything on something like this. You know, you need straight, uh, straight up gravel out of the creek to determine accurate yardage to the ton. So, let's band this out and see what we got. I like doing a uh, gentle circular motion when I start off. Get everything kind of stratified, get the larger pebbles to the top, back and forth, get that silky sand removed out of there. Then let the uh, current kind of do the work. Take those, strip those big rocks and a little bit of that blonde sand off the top. Yeah, give it a, another little shape like that. And then let her strip a little blonde sand. And we're going to shake her again. Dip the pan about 45 degrees and allow that gold to start settling in into the uh, ripples and at the uh, bottom corner of your pan. And then start lifting and panning. Let just that blonde sand go out. You start to see black, you stop panning and you bring her back and re-stratify. All right, we're starting to get her down. We're gonna know what we got here pretty soon. See if the balloons told us the truth. I should tell you, I have found gold on this creek before and actually some nice flaky stuff. It's one of the reasons why the Nugget King likes to retreat here. So we're gonna pick out a couple of larger rocks here. Uh-oh, I actually do see something in there. Ah, I love BC. She never fails me, man. I just get that pan down a little bit more so I can show you what we got. All right. Maurice, if we can get you to zoom in on the pan here. All right, yeah, we can see the pan there. I got it. And look at that, a couple of little nuggets over there, I don't know if you can see them, but there's three, four colors there. A little bit smaller, but... Yeah, little flat flakes, they don't weigh up to much, but... Gold is gold. I'll tell you what, man, I'll take a flake or two in the shovel full any day of the week, I don't know about you, but that's just the nature of the gold out here, you know. Uh, a lot of you guys have asked me, you know, out there, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little bit of a bigger piece of the dust. Uh, We'll try and bring the camera in right there. You know, it's uh, not just all nuggets, there is dust. We just throw it back and let it get bigger because it's not worth our time. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. We actually try to get as much as we can. That's why uh, Nugget King Mining Equipment Company has uh, incorporated the Dream Mats into our equipment so that we can make sure that we get absolutely all the gold into your box. Mm -hmm. Now you all take care. I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, we work really hard to uh, bring this stuff out to you, and I'm not going to BS you, man. It's 30 degrees out here. Do you have any idea how hot this King's costume is? <laughs> I'm pretty damn hot. I think I'm going to go for a dip. <laughs> Cut video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get my head off. <laughs>